Max also had the chance recently to visit with our friends from BASF about keeping those fields clean. Weed eradication is crucial, so on this week's Plan Smart, Grow Smart, Max sat with technical marketing manager Dan Waldstein to talk about weed eradication. Let's talk about weeds. I think there's there's you know a few trends that are happening that are making weed control a little more challenging. You have no doubt seen personally some of the fields where there's been a resistance problem. How bad has it been? When you look out there, how bad uh, has the, the weed situation been in some of those fields? The HPPD resistance uh, has certainly been around for a number of years, but the last two or three years we've, we've heard a lot more reports of it. Uh, we actually conducted a, a pretty wide uh, survey for retail agronomists last year, asking them if they're having problems with weed control using HPPD inhibitors. And 50% of them said yes. That was a surprise to me. I expected that number to be far less than that. So that tells me that um, you know it is a serious problem. It's not getting any easier. So we really need to uh, preserve the tools in the toolbox uh, that we have as long as we can. I hate to use the, the phrase uh, train wreck, but unfortunately we're seeing more and more of those type of situations. What could a grower do? So I think uh, changing from reliance on uh, post herbicides, certainly that's still an important tool, but looking more at residual herbicides. Uh, so we talk about attacking the weed uh, when it's at its weakest. And that's really as it just germinates before it gets out of the ground, it's got just one growing point. Uh, the weeds that are in post type application situations, they could have potentially dozens of growing points. They're much more difficult to control. The day and age where we wait for weeds to get up and emerge um, to, to spray them, I think that's where we start getting into trouble situations. So it's got to be, we like to use the word proactive rather than reactive. We know it's challenging, weather pre presents challenges, whether it's rain uh, or even windy conditions, you know, where we can't spray, but that's where getting the pre on at planting. In some cases, to cover the, the acres, we need to probably start even before planting. That's where we need a real strong residual product. Uh, get that down and uh, get off to a good start. Can I assume there's a BASF solution? That's right, yeah, Sertain herbicide. Uh, it's uh, been a long time coming. We started working on uh, this uh, research and development project back in 2012. And the concept was to take a chemistry that uh, previously and, and currently could only be used pre uh, because of crop safety issues and injuring the crop and taking that and making it you know a post flexible product so we could go early post as well. We're excited because Sertain will be the first ever solid encapsulated herbicide on the market. It's a reminder of the importance of that ongoing research isn't it? BSF is certainly committed to research and development. I think that's a, a large part of our success. The new innovations that we come out with uh, really almost on an annual basis. Thank you, Max, and thank you, Dan. And folks, if you'd like to see the other segments in the Plan Smart, Grow Smart series, just visit the website, plansmartgrowsmart.com.